Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And if you want more cartoon news and shenanigans, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Do it right now, and I thank you for that. Uh, and let's jump right into this article. So we're here on animationmagazine.net, uh, article by Mercedes Milligan right there. Uh, so I like the logo of this show, but I've got a bit to say about it. So the ghost and Molly McGee, is that... The Ghost and Molly McGee. Kind of a weird name. I feel like it should have been called Ghost and Molly, maybe. That would have been a better sounding name. Um, but yeah, so this is it. This is another Disney cartoon. Uh, Ashley Birch, Dana, Dana, Diana? No, Dana Snyder to star in Disney's The Ghost and Molly McGee. So let's read a little bit here. Uh, Emmy Award winner Ashley Birch, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. Not seen that. And Dana Snyder, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It's not a show. Uh, I've heard of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I've seen like a couple of them, but I just it, it's not a show for me. I just didn't like it. Um, will be will lead the cast of Disney Channel's upcoming buddy comedy, uh, The Ghost and Molly McGee. Again, I think I think they should have just called this Ghost and Molly. That, that might have been better. Uh, formerly known as The Curse of Molly. Okay, that actually sounds way better and cooler. The Curse of Molly. Yeah, that sounds better. Uh, the Ghost and Molly just doesn't sound as cool. Uh, whoever changed that should probably uh, <laughs> lose their... No, they shouldn't lose their job. They should get a smack, t smack across the face for that stupidity. Uh, the Curse of Molly McGee just sounds cooler. They should have called it that. Um, I guess they didn't want to use the word curse because I don't know, then maybe some religious fanatics wouldn't watch it or some shit. I, I don't know. Uh, the anime series follows tween optimist, uh, Molly voiced by Birch who lives to make the world a better place and grumpy ghost scratch voiced by Snyder, whose job it is to spread misery. When one of scratch's curse backfires, he finds Wait, he finds himself forever bound to Molly. Interesting. Um, okay, so there's not much here. There's not much to go on. Holy shit. Produced, but this is going to be a short-ass episode or a video. Or, uh, produced by Disney Television Animation, The Ghost and Molly McGee is slated to premiere on uh, in, in 2021 on Disney Channel and in, Dis in, in, and in Disney Now. Sorry about that. Was, got a bit stuttery there for a second. Birch and Snyder will join series creators and executive producers Bill Motts and Bob Roth, Lego Star Wars, The Freemaker Adventures, not heard of that, and executive producer Steve Lauder, Kim po hey, Kim Possible, there we go, that's some quality, that's some quality right there, uh, for a panel at New York Comic Con on Friday, um, October 9th, uh, the virtual panel is set to include an exclusive first look at the series. Uh, and, um, we did, we actually got some pictures though. Some pictures are online of what the show is going to look like. Um, and, uh, we see it here. This was just five hours, uh, five looks that one was five minutes ago. That's how quick, that's how like recent this shit is. Uh, and so we get the character. Um, now I wanted to talk about, uh, I, I, am I, am I particularly interested in this? Uh, I mean, it sounds interesting, but here's, here's the thing. Um, I, I think like, it feels like they've just been doing a lot of this recently where it's like, they just have like a, a kind of like a girl, like a young girl in some like kooky situation and like they have amphibia, you know, and then they have like, uh, what's that other one there? Uh, owl house and that one's magical themed. And uh, there's probably others I'm not thinking of off the top of my head. But uh, it's been a lot of this recently. <laughs> you know, uh, just a, a young girl with like some kooky, strange thing going on. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like it's getting repetitive, uh, a little bit repetitive. Let's actually look at some of the cartoons. Uh, okay, recent Disney cartoons. Um, oh, let's see. Let's see if we could find recent Disney animated shows. Let's see if anything comes up here. Uh, okay. 
So is that really it? Milo Murphy might be an outcast, I guess. Uh, Future Worm. I've heard bad things about that. Um, but yeah, a lot of the best shows coming out of like Disney or like the ones that have like effort and fan bases other than DuckTales. Uh, does does Big City Greens really have like a following? I I've not you know I don't think so. Uh, wait, is there more? There must be more. Hold on, let's uh, Disney. Let's see if what happens if I type that in. Uh, okay, we get some more here. We get some more. Um, yeah, Milo Mur Murphy. I think that's still on. Oh, the replacements. I used to watch that all the time as a kid. Um, but yeah, so a lot of uh, Matil or oh, Madeline. I mean. Uh, Lilo and Sitch show, yeah. I don't know. A lot of the shows I'm feeling like right now are just you know like the Owl House and Amphibia. It's like some girl in a kooky situation. Um, now it's like now we have a girl. Uh, what was it? Bound to a ghost. Where was the uh, image? Oh, let's uh, let's go back to that. Uh, where was that? There we go. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh, I like this. This is a good one. See, Comic-Con, you, you got the whole cast there. I don't know. I, I'm feeling there's a lot of this kind of stuff. It, it's kind of getting repetitive and boring. That's that's about it. That's all I got to say, in my opinion. Uh, do you guys want to see, like, I don't know. It feels like every time they, they make a show, it's like some, like, little girl with some weird thing. You know, I, I don't mind Amphibia, the Owl House. I just wasn't digging that at all. I thought it was pretty woke. Um, hopefully this one is, plays up the comedy big and, uh, and is interesting. Maybe, you know, do something interesting. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say. Let me know if you guys are kind of getting bored of like the Disney shows recently. It's been a lot of like, even star versus it was kind of like, you know, uh, kooky girl and some like magical situation kind of, you know, now she, she, there's in this world we already know that there's curses which usually relates to magic so we had we had very recently we had star versus the owl house amphibia which has like this magic box that teleported Anne to um you know amph amphibia uh and then now we have this show which features like uh you know magic again so that's like four you know, four shows that featured females with magic in a row. Can we get something else for the love of God? Uh, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind. Hey, I would not mind a Lilo and Stitch reboot. But I know that sounds weird because I just said, well, is there magic in Lilo and Stitch? I, I, I don't think so, I guess. Um, but uh, I, I would not mind. After I seen that bumper for Lilo and Stitch when I was searching the Google images, um yeah, I would, I would, if they rebooted Lilo and Stitch and started to show us all of the, the experiments, because a lot of the experiments didn't get shown back in the day, I would love that. I would love to see what all the experiments look like. Um, so yeah, that's just my thoughts. You guys let me know what you think of the ghost and Molly McGee. Let me know if you think that the name, uh, the curse of Molly McGee sounded better because it did. It literally does and did. <laughs> Uh, terrible naming scheme, but at least the um, this logo really catches my eye. I have to say, it, it really catches my eye. So that's a really good logo, whoever designed that. Um, but yeah, that's it, folks. That's all I got for me. Please subscribe. The end. Bye bye.